How's everybody doing? This is George over here at Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and emergency safety strobe lighting equipment for cars, vans, bus, bicycles, tricycles, SUVs, CRCs, bicycles, everything in between. And uh, what you got here is a 2016 Ford Super Duty. This is a cabin chassis, so originally it didn't have anything on the back of it, just a set of four tires and some lighting. Tail lights was sent out, had a body put on it. What you're looking at lighting wise, is our thin x led we've got quantity six on this truck and our mini thin led on the side badges all these lights are in amber white we're not using any flood mode or anything like that we're just triggering them off of factory auxiliary switch number one we did fuse it down auxiliary switch number one i believe is 30 amps so we put an inline 10 amp fuse to lower the rating just a little just in case anything ever happened we set them all to alternate on a double flash, both color pattern, relatively mild because this is a stake body truck. So chances are it's going to be a lot of activity workers around it, loading it, unloading it. I didn't want to have super fast, annoying patterns going when the truck needed to have people around it using it. We synchronized the grill in the front. As you can see, both of those lights fire the color together. I did that because as you back away from the truck, it'll kind of morph into one color and appear as just amber white alternation instead of the movement you see when you're close by. Sides are relatively simple. We mounted the light right on the badge, used the included screws, drilled a hole through the badge and the fender, ran the wiring under the hood. Fairly easy install. Around the back, we drilled and tapped and used some stainless steel hardware in the rear so it's easy to remove a light if there was ever an issue where one got broken. Ran all the wiring up the frame rail following some factory wiring that was already in the truck and connected it to the auxiliary switches. Here's a little better side shot of the vehicle. Now we chose that badge location versus the front of the stake body because it put the light just a little higher and obviously a little bit wider, a little bit closer to the front of the actual vehicle. This way it gets a good side profile of the size of the vehicle. I think it was very important that we added that light on the back, on the side, because at nighttime, as you can imagine, there's only one tiny little DOT light on there. So it will be very easy to miss the side of this black stake body in a dark environment at night. You can tell to see the tail light there faces only backwards. There really is nothing uh, facing the side on the back of this truck. So we felt it very important to put those lights side facing in the rear the way we did. Here's another shot of the side from the front. Now you can also imagine if you were trying to back out against traffic, how convenient those side lights are gonna be for backing out of an alley or backing out uh, 90 degrees to traffic uh, and trying to get out onto a busy roadway. Those lights in the rear are really gonna be helpful. Alrighty, so as you can see around the back here, we did double up the thin X. We've got two face in the rear and two face in the side. We synchronized all four of the rear together, so we get that color pop all as one around the whole back of the vehicle. And we did just go with that double flash alternate pattern. Again, kind of a little bit more relaxed pattern, just a little bit easier on the eyes when you're up close to it. Alrighty, here's your straight backwards shot. You can see on the right side there on the wall how much light the side is really putting out. Definitely one of the brightest lights we sell here, the Thin X in amber white is what you're looking at right now. And you can find all of these lights and whatever accessories you need for this job on the website. I'm not going to bundle this job because it's a stake body. All it is is two different lights and some wire and some heat shrink. So you can find the Thin X and the Mini Thin right over at wickedwarnings.com we're going to put links in the bottom of the video as well for these two products so if you have a truck similar to this and you like how it looks feel free to grab the products and create your own build everything here was done using some 22-5 power control wire extending the lights we used a main 16-2 to run from the rear up to the front switch and the rest was all tied in with 22-5 approximately 50 feet of 22-5 and another probably 50 feet of the 16.2 for the rear. That's what we used, and a fuse holder. Thanks for watching Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and emergency safety strobe lighting equipment for cars, vans, buses, trucks, bicycles, tricycles, and stake body trucks just like this. So if you've got something similar to this or something completely different, bring it on into Wicked Warnings, send an email with some photos, and we'll straighten you out. Thanks again for watching. See you on the next video.
wicked warnings.